it actually show up? Where would he find you? Mm. What would he find you doing? doing. Yeah. <clears throat> when you went, went on fishing, well, went on about your business, went on out to the club, went on had your drink. Mm. But what if you used to come back while you was drinking? <laughs> what if you used to come back while you was in the club? What if you used to come back while you was in the midst of your storm? Mm. As I told him last week, Jesus was on the boat sleep. Yep. And God didn't worry about the storm. When you got the master on board the ship, you worried about some storms. He didn't come tell him when to the storm pass. Nope. He said, hold up, let me just walk out here. If I me paraphrase a little bit, let me just walk out here and talk to the storm. Peace, be still. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in our lives, all we got to do is learn how to believe God yes. and speak what he says. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes. He said, by my stripes, you are healed. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. I, I'm going to keep preaching till you change your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Quit saying I'm sick. <laughs> Quit speaking those things on your life. Because right. when you use the word I am, who does that represent? Lord Jesus. God. So why do we defame God's name by saying I am? <laughs> so you said Jesus is sick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to the word. I see them faces. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just bringing the word to you, but it's written down in this Bible, okay? okay? Come on with the next verse for me, please. Verse 26. Uh huh. And after eight days, again his disciples were within. Mm -hmm. And Thomas with them. Yeah. Then came Jesus. Then came the Jesus. The doors began sh being shut and stood in the midst. And said, Peace be unto you. My God loves that word peace, don't he? Yep. Yes. Peace be unto you. Hallelujah. But somebody said he never showed up after the resurrection. But I have to beg the difference. Yeah. Because yeah. I find right here that after the resurrection, Jesus showed up to some people. Yeah, he did. And I'm telling you, he's still showing up to some people. Yeah. Yeah. He's showing up in your life. Yeah. Somebody said, late in the midnight hour. Yeah. <laughs> God's going to turn it around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know you've been there. Yeah. He's going to work in your favor. Mm. Come yeah. on, Pastor. Come on, I know you've seen him in your life. Hallelujah. Because you're sitting here today because God is in your life. Yeah. Because God because Jesus has came That's it. right on time. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you thought nobody else was going to be there for you, he came running right on time. Hallelujah. Amen. You ever tried to call him at that 1-800 number, hallelujah, that's never busy, that he's always sitting there right there saying, what do you want, baby? And say, I already sent somebody for that. Already. I already sent. I already took care of that. Already. So angels is coming already. But I need you to believe, hallelujah, because some things I do that you might believe, hallelujah. Some things I do in your life because I need you to believe me. All right. Yeah. I am your creator. All right. I did create you. You did not create yourself. Sometimes self has got to be moved out of the way. Yeah. Self gets in the way of us, our progress toward hearing the voice and doing what God has called us to do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So how does self get in the way? Mm -hmm. We make up our mind that I'm going to do what I want to do. Because yeah. I'm 21 now. <laughs> Got me a job. Mm. Don't live with my easy. mama no more. Amen. All right, come on now, come on. Grown now. <laughs> and want to leave Jesus. <laughs> who brought you to your 21. All right. Yeah. Who yeah. brought you out of all those things, and yet here we are. Mm. I still got to convince you that it's I'm in your life. Mm. See, it should be a doggone shame, if I can say that, that a God, hallelujah, has brought you thus far that he still has to try to change your mind to believe in him. Huh? Amen. Come on, Dr. Thomas. Come on, come on, Dr. Thomas. Come on now. If you want to see the supernatural power of God work in your life, you got to first believe in the one who created the power. That's right. That's right. 
If you want to just come and, and gather, if you just want to get together with some friends, then you might as well go ahead and do that. But my God tell me, he didn't need but two or three. He said, well, two or three are gathered in my name. In my name. There I am in the midst. So it doesn't worry about where you at. So take your mind off of where you at. Because God can meet you wherever you are. Because yes. yes. he's everywhere. Yes. So even when you're doing your dirt, <clears throat> somebody said he was right there in the midst of it. What I'm trying to do is get you to believe. What does believe mean? It means to have a firm persuasion of anything. In some cases, to have full persuasion. Because, see, I am persuaded yes. that neither life nor death. That's right. Woo! Nothing yeah. shall separate me from the love of God. Hallelujah. Because yeah. I love God. And I love his word. And I believe every word that is wrote in there, including the maps, y'all. I want you to get to the place where you believe what's been wrote in that book. Yes. 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 Amen. Because Amen. tell me it's the most factual book there is. Yes. 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 To have a full persuasion of proving to certainty in others, more doubt is implied by some people. Because they really don't believe what they actually see, see or, hear. or hear. That's right. It's often followed by and on, especially in scripture, to believe is to hold on to the objective of faith. So what we're talking about is the faith part. The belief that takes you to faith. How many of you believe right now? Amen. Amen. I hope I'm helping your belief. Hallelujah. I want to take you to that belief part where you believe without doubting. Mm -hmm. Come on, read for me. Verse 27. Oh, she got caught up. Oh. Then said he to Thomas, uh -huh. Reach hither, hither thy finger, uh -huh. and behold my hands, uh -huh. and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord, mm -hmm. my God. Mm -hmm. See, it took all that to get Thomas to believe. Yeah. Sometimes it takes all that to get us to believe that it is. Mm -hmm. huh. mm -hmm. Come on, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. yes, 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 yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Mm -hmm. yeah. To whoever who what? Believe. Whosoever believes. Whosoever believes. Whosoever believes. Whosoever believes. Shall not perish. But have. Do you really believe that? Yes. Come on, I know you got it posted on your wall. You got it in a picture frame. You got it all mounted all on the wall and everything. But do you really believe what's being mounted? Is God really active in your life? You see, someone said, Yo, how do I believe a God that I cannot see? Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't put my hand in his side. Hallelujah. So why should I believe it? Amen. Because you're here today. Because you remember when the enemy was trying to take you out? You remember when he was knocking on your door? You remember when he was messing with your children? You remember when he was feeding you all them drugs? You remember when your life was about to be taken? Huh. And he go, he shows up on the scene. Yes, yeah. hallelujah. Did you see him then? Hallelujah. Did you see him then? Yes, bless your name, Jesus. Even with the holes in his head, he was able to hold back the gun that was about to shoot you. Even with the ones in his feet, he was able to march right over to the area where you should be. Even with the one in his side, he was probably still bleeding, but he was able to get to you. Amen. Yeah. Because through it all, through it all, through it all, you got to believe, hallelujah, because I know something's good about to happen, y'all. I'm just telling you, something good about to happen in your life, hallelujah. I just want you to believe that something good is about to happen in your life. Woo! I feel it all in my spirit. Something good is about to happen. All right. Because we serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. Yeah. But I'm looking for the day when all of us can believe. And our faith can take us to a place. Hallelujah. Yeah. Where all of us. Hallelujah. Will be able to walk in the power of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 I will not have you powerless. Hallelujah. In this world today. But he told Thomas. He said. Thomas after he saw it. He said. My Lord. My God. Now all of a sudden he wants to own him. Hallelujah. Now all of a sudden he's mine. See when Jesus does things in your life, all of a sudden you want to call him your God. Yeah. When things ain't going so well, then you don't want to. Oh, y'all ain't like that. Y'all ain't like that. But when there's so 
supernatural power God shows up, hallelujah. And God does things in life that you know you didn't do it. You know you can't nobody else do it but him. But yet, hallelujah, in the world today, we still have people that do not believe. Huh. They have a form of God that is denying the power thereof. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Give me Hebrews real quick. The Hebrews, Hebrews. 11 and 1. All right. Come on, come on, come on. All right. I'm going to bring it home. I'm going to bring it home. I promise you I'm going to bring it home. Hallelujah. But I want to help folks with their belief of who they are. Believe in the one that can take you, hallelujah, to places you've never been before. Won't you be an astronaut for Jesus? Get on board, hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead and read it. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not to see. Mm -hmm. For by it the elders obtained the good testimony. Mm -hmm. By faith we Ready? understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which were seen were not made of things which are visible. Uh -huh. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, mm -hmm. through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Mm -hmm. yes. God testifying of his gifts, and through it he being dead still speaks. Still speaks. Hallelujah. Who speaks? God. God still speaks to his people. Oh, yeah. Do you hear him? He's calling you to bring your belief up to another level. Mm hmm to the level of the faith mm -hmm. that you believe in things that are not seen. Yes. But did you skip over the part where he said evidence? Mm -hmm. You can't have evidence unless it's actually manifested. That's right. That's where I'm trying to get to you where your faith takes you to believe and those things that you believe in will be manifested for the evidence of things that are not seen. The evidence of things that are not seen. That's what you want to get to that part. When you read that scripture, get to the part where it says the evidence of things not seen. See, because God takes us to many places in his word. If you go to, hallelujah, if you go to John 14 and 1, it says, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. You believe in God? Nah. Yes. Also. Believe in me also. Yeah. All right. Who do you believe in? Yeah. Oh, I know you believe in Benjamin Franklin, George Washington. <laughs> come on, come on, because you try to hold on to them. George, all them Georges, you can put George in church. But you won't put Grant in church. Uh, oh, okay, let me leave. Oh, Hamilton <laughs> either. Come on. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would tell you, I would go to prepare a place for you. Yeah. Do you believe that God is preparing a mansion for you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can say yes on Sunday. I'm coming back to you tomorrow. When, on Monday, I'll see if you said get the same answer on Monday and Tuesday that I can get on Sunday. Because see, a lot of us get excited about Sunday, but it's the rest of your life that you live. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, glory to God. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the day, hallelujah, when we all come together, hallelujah. When we all come together, hallelujah. The rest of that verse, 14, I'm going on down, in, I'm in John 14. And it says, if I go and prepare a place for you, I, I will come again. Again. Yes, sir. See, here's the other part that people struggle with. <laughs> I will come again. Again. Just as Thomas struggled with the part that he couldn't even believe that he was back when he told him. In three days. The same way with our belief, hallelujah. If we go constantly through life, we, we tend to get comfortable with the reality of what's going on right now. And not looking to the now and the futuristic of our God. Yes. Who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask. Or with your little old mind. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know. And here again in verse 5, John 14 and 5, it said, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether we go. And how can we know the way? 
Uh-huh. See, this is what happened to our belief. See, how do we know? How I know I'm going the right way? How I know I'm believing in the right one? You still here? Amen. Another opportunity is given to you to do it the right way. To do to make up your mind and who you're going to believe in. So you would believe uh, about the trip with the car. Mm. The sunshine. Mm. The beaches. <laughs> so what if God were to show you that picture? Mm. The sunshine in your life. The future that I have for you. He said, I am the beginning and the alpha and omega. The beginning and the end. So I already know your story. And you're here today because not by accident, because God has brought you here. So whether you want to see him or not, I know you're hearing him. Because you're here today. But God really wants to speak to you in the midst of this. Hallelujah. He wants your belief to come up. Here's what he said to Thomas. Jesus said unto him, Come on, your favorite scripture. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no man, woman, boy, girl, child, nothing on this earth come. But by me. So all the other things you believe in, see, I tell you again, Buddha can't get you there. <laughs> Come on, Mohammed can't get you there. Right. Uncle, brother, all of them can't get you there. <laughs> all your money can't get you there. That nice house can't get you there. All that jewelry can't get you there. Oh, did I bring them in? Oh, glory to God. They're trying to tell me something. The last verse, verse 7, they said, If you had known me, and here's the part I want you to get. If you had known me, you should have known my father also. Mm-hmm. From henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. Mm-hmm. What more evidence do I have to give you? What more do you need to become a believer that the one who believes, the one who gives credit to the other evidence that is of your personal knowledge? How do you, how do you get to become a believer? By believing in the one and only. The creator. Hallelujah. Let me just share these last verses with you and I'm going to close. Mark 5 and 36 says, As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said, Even to the rulers of the synagogue, Be not afraid. Only believe. Hallelujah. Romans 15 and 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. 11 and 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please. For he that cometh to God must believe. Must believe. Must believe. Must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder mm-hmm. of them that diligently. Diligently. Not slacking. Diligently seek him. Romans 10 and 10 is saying, For with the heart man believeth. Yeah. Unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Acts 16 and 31 says, and they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And thou shalt be saved and the house. And, and your house. house. And your house. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you believe on God, you can save your whole house. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can save them children you've been struggling over all day and all night asking God what? take right. care of my children. Yeah. God said, look, I put you there. You have the authority on earth. Yeah. yeah. Once you begin to go in your war room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Once you go to start working it out. Mm-hmm. Quit trying to fix people. Quit trying to change people. You can't change them. Hallelujah. Only the Creator can change them. Won't you get in there and wipe their names on the walls of your closet and begin to pray for them? Hallelujah. Pray that blessings will come upon them. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Because I believe. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Because I believe. Oh, say it like it means it. Say it like it means it. Say it like it means Look them in the eye. Look them in the eye. Say, I believe. I'm blessed. I'm hard and faded. I'm anointed to win. I'm impossible to curse. I'm impossible to curse. Now the devil heard you 
say that. That's right. Come on, man. Do you really believe? Yes. Yes. Do you really believe? Yes. Everybody stand it. Hallelujah. Yes. Do you really believe? Yes. Mm. Yes. Do you believe the words you just said? Hallelujah. Amen. Anointed to win. Anointed to win. Possible to curse. Possible to curse. Impossible to curse. Impossible to curse. Impossible. You don't find that too much in the wild 